is still cleaning up the mess after massive flooding in her apartment after last night's rain flowing in from the ceiling. Now the tenant says that her calls for help had gone unanswered for some time. So she let Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dennis Valera inside for this exclusive look. Whether it be down trees in Ellington or the forced closure of Six Flags New England, we've definitely seen the more destructive side of weather this week. Here in West Hartford, one woman is still dealing with the impacts of that in her own home. This is just outside of Shannon Laris's back door during last night's rain. The water flowing inside of her kitchen. Today, the water is gone, but mold has started to form. She's turned on fans and lit candles to get rid of the smell. Laris has only lived there since February. She says property management has been hard to get a hold of, despite them being responsive with a leak in her first couple of months. When that happened, I haven't heard. I called him and I said, and I told him about the, never heard back from him. Mm. Called him this morning, not a peep. Not a, I'm so sorry. Not a, we got somebody on it. We called and left messages with the Northeast Property Group rental manager in charge of the building. We haven't heard back yet. Now, unfortunately, this is not the first time Shannon has dealt with this inside of her apartment. Later on night, when it's news at 530, we'll go more into her flooding history. Here in West Hartford, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.